Mr. Alain Richard is the chairman of the French Senate's Taiwan Friendship Group. He led a Senate delegation to Taiwan in October despite opposition from China. And President Tsai Ing-wen awarded him with a national medal for his promotion of French-Taiwan ties. He shares why it was important for him to come to Taiwan. Well, uh, there are several reasons, but we, uh, and we are, num- we are quite a number in, in French, French politics, considered Taiwan as having vast achievements in terms of success in economy. And, uh, of course, it's a representation of democracy. And we wanted to, when we're back, uh, to explain to our colleagues and to the French public how important it is to uh, support Taiwan and to keep it uh, in peace. Well, we appreciate that. There has been talk of, you know, Taiwan changing the names of its representative offices since uh, Lithuania is welcoming a Taiwanese representative office. Do you think that Taiwan should change its name in, in France? It currently is called the Taipei well, Representative Office. Should we change it to Taiwan Representative Office? You know, this situation has lasted for 50 years. If Taiwan wants to uh, use the term Taiwan, I, I said that personally, I, ca- I can only approve of that because when a group of persons, when a collectivity, a community has chosen its own name, it's always something you know, negative uh, or, or threatening to impose on it another name. Mm. We have this situation, for instance, uh, with the, the Kurds in Turkey. Mm-hmm. Uh, who are you know, uh, deprived of their own of their their own name? So that was my comment. Now, if Taiwanese authorities want to make this move, this will be an issue with our diplomacies in, in Germany, in uh, in UK, uh, in Italy, and the rest. Uh, and we will certainly have a, a discussion and a tentative agreement between ourselves to say when we. When do we accept this change? And it will be a fuss with, with China, but everyone is seeing the real situation. Taiwan is not a state, but in actual fact, has all the capacities and all the instruments of a complete state. And of course, uh, the uh, PRC, uh, knows that better than even us. So do you think Taiwan should try to change its name or do you think we should just well, keep it as it's Taipei? Not, it's, it's not of my authority to give them an advice <laughs> or a suggestion. <laughs> I'm simply give, explaining you, the frame to you. Mm. So you, do you think it would be acceptable but to change the I, name? I would, like, I would like to make a, a wider comment. Most of our countries in Europe, I'm speaking about Europe, are already uh, seeing the change of the Chinese international reality. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was perfectly coherent and logical for our countries to uh, try to be cooperative with China as long as this country was opening its relationships uh, on many fields with democratic countries and was not trying to impose pressure on so many issues. The change has been slow and and gradual, but now on many, many issues and many, many many aspects of international life, whether it be economic, scientific, and academic, and of course, political and, and security issues, they are wanting and they are showing their decision to appear as well. The common uh, common term in, in, in English is assertive, but on many issues, it's threatening. Mm-hmm. What I see from many reports on many contacts, doing business long-term with serious commitments with China is becoming more perilous. Well, I think you must know, especially as a former defense minister, that China has been, you know, increasing its military threat uh, to Taiwan. 
Do you think that the EU should help deter China from attacking Taiwan? I'm very moderate on my comments on this issue. Um, what I can say is that, of course, the Chinese uh, rulers want to show that they have a strong offensive capacity. They want to use these, these demonstrations of force to try and influence the minds of the Chinese people, of the Taiwanese people and, and the Taiwanese authorities. They know that there is no easy way for China to dominate militarily Taiwan. It would be a very, very hard confrontation mm -hmm. and there would be other actors implied. So it could be seriously uh, destabilizing for the, um, for the rule of the Communist Party in China. So you think it's unlikely to happen? Exactly. Mm. As you know, the chairman of the Taiwan Friendship Group, where do you think Taiwan and France ties should be going? Should Taiwan, should France be showing more support for Taiwan as it faces such a big threat from China? What do you want to see in French Taiwan ties? What is more important from our point of view is first practical cooperation with many links, many concrete and human relation between Taiwanese people and French people, accomplishing in common some progress either in industry or in health. Our preference is to make more familiar, more frequent the discussions, the visits between uh, Taiwanese and French authorities and to have a wide consultation about the security issues in the whole area of what we call Indo-Pacific, because mm -hmm. this implies many other powers between which we have an interest to be transparent. Well, that's great. I think it's wonderful that you came to visit Taiwan, um, you know, and, and to show your support in that way, and that you also authored the first resolution about Taiwan in the Senate. Uh, which was passed unanimously supporting Taiwan's participation in the WHO and other organizations. Do you see uh, French support for Taiwan growing among the public and, yes. and in the Senate? Yes, obviously, obviously. And so I've been called by many French media because uh, it, was, it was an interest for them. They wanted to have news and, and to be able to explain more about uh, present situation in Taiwan and, and the perspectives, the, the, the potential uh, improvements that we can have to, together. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people of Taiwan? Go on like that. <laughs> well, Senator Alain uh, Richard, it's wonderful to be able to speak with you. Thank you so much for visiting Taiwan. We hope that you come again. And... I hope so. <laughs> of course, uh, during during our visit with our colleagues in the legislative grant, uh, we offered them uh, a new invitation to come and visit us uh, next year. That's wonderful. So I'm glad to see exchanges between uh, the Senates and the parliaments of Taiwan and France um, going strong. And that's a lot um, has to do with your work. So thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Senator... If they come to Paris, feel free to come with that. Oh, come sure. I would love to visit Paris. <laughs> I've been speaking with Senator Alain Wichat, who is the chairman of the French Senate's Taiwan Friendship Group. Thank you so much. Uh,